Welcome back to another day in the life of a reseller vlog. Today I've been busy uh, finishing up yesterday's vlog. We had a busy day yesterday. Went south for the Shamrock Run in Kirkland at Juanita Beach. And then I visited with my mom. Brought her a whole load of jewelry that she's going through. This jewelry was from a 5x5 storage unit clean out that I'm doing. Um, then I came home and I finished doing some more clean out. Um, and I found uh, some movie memorabilia. Uh, that was kind of the lead in yesterday's vlog, um, but I just finished that, put a nice thumbnail to it. And today we're going to get into the rest of that stuff. Uh, we're going to get into the rest of that 5x5 five five unit, finish it up, and hopefully get another one this week. We'll see how things go. But first we have to deal with the sales that came in. We had some sales coming to the big store. Have yet to check the small store. We got to uh, log into the small store and see what kind of action we're having in there as well. But we're going to pack up what sold out of the big store we had a couple big sales some uh, Air Jordan athletic shoes sold let me show you guys everything that sold today there you see it four sales for three hundred and eighty eight dollars and seventy eight cents first item sold for one seventy nine fifty nine their pair, pair of brand new and Nike Air Jordan 1 high Gatorade orange peel athletic shoe size 10.5 second item sold for sixteen dollars and seventy one cents it's a ralph lauren dress shirt button up long sleeve striped large orange and white third item sold for twelve dollars and eighty nine cents it's a brand new hot wheels 2014 highway city tuned to the simpsons the homer car and finally another pair of jordan sold for 179.59 their brand new pair of 10.5 air jordan 1 retro high og g 8 rd gatorade pack grape that's what the color was from 2017 so that air jordan collection is finally starting to pay off we sold two of them today i'm gonna go grab those as well as those other items the simpsons car and the ralph lauren uh, dress shirt get that stuff packed up and ready to go out uh, in the mail and then we'll check out the small store sales and finally we'll get into uh, the rest of that storage unit clean out uh, we have some few more bags to get through yesterday we found that to movie memorabilia so who knows what we'll find in today's load uh, there's probably four or five bags I showed it in yesterday's video but I'll give you guys another look after I pack these orders up all right here they come labels for those four orders we had one more sneak in I'll show it to you in a second but uh, these were the four that we're packing up right now those Jordans all right we got two more orders for the tote and one and two all right we got this package going to the same place i'm not sure if this is the correct way to do it but i'm putting both labels on one box throw both shoes in there we'll see what they say all right like i was saying as i was packing those up uh, we had one more order come in let me show you what sold i think it was a movie let's take a look oh yeah here it is not quite a movie it is a grace favor seminar live hillsong australia by joseph prince a two dvd set so this came in a storage unit, um, Grace Favor Seminar, seminar uh, on DVD. So I'm going to go grab that one, get a label on it, and then we'll log it into the small store and see what kind of action we had out of the small store. All right, one more movie for the old DVD, for the tote rather, a DVD seminar. All right, we just logged into the small store. First time since this weekend. i uh, been busy this weekend, so we haven't gotten into the small store much. But it looks like we have four orders waiting for us to pack them up for $87 and change. Let me you show you. see it. Four orders, $87.24. Let's see what sold. First item sold for $14.26. It's a small and one black athletic gym shorts, polyester men's solid size 25 inch waist by 12 inch inseam. Second item sold for $13.80. It's a pair of Ocean Pacific black rayon polyester dress shorts, pleated size 36 inch waist by 8.5 inch inch inseam. Third item sold for $21.79. It's a pair of black girls jeans size W26 Topshop Moto Joni. 23 inch waist by 27 inch inseam. Cotton blend. 
And fourth item, it was sold for $19.99. It's a pair of Speedo swimming shorts, gray and white, men's polyester XXL, 36 inch waist by 10 inch inseam. All right, I'm gonna go grab those four orders, get labels on those and add those to the tote. And then we'll get into the unboxing, the final unboxing of the bags from the five by five unit I got for $260. We've been working our way through it this uh, past weekend and uh, today I think will be the last day we'll get through it all and we'll have it all ready to be listed. Uh, three totes full of clothing so far. Uh, we got another uh, laundry basket full of um, pants that we got to wash still but uh, it's been a pretty good clothing haul. We also got that jewelry out of it and uh, just yesterday we discovered some movie memorabilia 8x10 photos from I think six different movies, seven different movies. So that was kind of a cool find. Plenty of books and jewelry and clothing. So we'll see what else uh, these bags turn up. Uh, you never know what you're going to find. All right, snack time. And through the magic of video, there they appear. Four orders ready for shipping labels from the small store. Let's get them packed up. All right, I had those four orders ready to be printed, ready to print labels and get them on there. And, of course, another order sneaks in. Let me show you what sold. So we're going to add this pair of shorts to the outgoing orders, $21.27, rather, $21.27, this pair of shorts sold for a brand new pair of Adidas shorts, burgundy and white, extra small, athletic polyester shorts. Um, all right, there they are, five orders for $108 and change. Here come those shipping labels. Let's get these packages ready to go to the post office. All right, five more orders for this tote. Let's fill it up in one, two three four five all right it's about 4 30 right now i want to get those orders to the post office today but i promised you guys i would get into those bags so let's open the garage get into those bags see what kind of action we got maybe we'll find something before i leave uh, that we can get excited about uh, but i want to get uh, on the road today get a run in I haven't uh, exercised for a while so i want to get around lake Patton today and uh, make that happen but uh, let's get in the garage right now and look at those bags all right there they are that's all that is left of that uh, 5x5 $260 storage unit I cleaned out here's a look at all those nice books that came out we got to decide where we want to put those and what we want to do with them and then a tote full of some nicer stuff here uh, some more books uh, down there actually magazines and a couple Christmas items I was gonna save for Christmas time a couple Santas uh, some quality Santas in the box. There you see them playing their instruments. Let's give you guys a better look. So there's one with the saxophone and one with, uh, what is it, a guitar or a violin? It looks like a violin. Um, we have uh, up here, these are the larger uh, hardcover books. Here's a side view, as you can see, the Wild West Macmillan Animal Encyclopedia. Wizardology. So there were some interesting titles in this uh, as well as some cookbooks. So just looking in these last few bags, we got a few more books in here it looks like. Let's see what do we got here. Devotions for Women on the Go. There were some religious based books in this unit uh, so we could lot those together if we get them all together. Um, but let's dump these bags out and uh, see what we got in these. All right, I've got these two bags here set up on the air mattress. I've been using this air mattress as an easy cleanup so that it doesn't, the driveway doesn't get too dirty. But uh, let's dump these out. We'll just roll them over and see what we got that comes out of them. Be careful we don't uh, break anything. Um, there might be some valuables in this. You don't know. Oh, look at that. A little. That's kind of cool. Look at that. Some art. So you never know what's in these bags. All kinds of fun stuff. Look at that little Pez. Is that Nightmare Before Christmas Pez? There was some Pez in this uh, unit. Some Star Wars Pez. So we got some more... Uh, is this a little Easter? little Easter ceramic. Um, all kinds of odds and ends. This is cool. It might be like jade or some sort of uh, fancy rock. I'm going to use two hands and get this uh, opened, dumped out, and then give you guys a look at everything that's right, in it. There were some fun items. All these plush. Look at all these plush. Um, some of them were brand new. Some of them not. I'm not sure what we'll do with those. We might lock those up. There are all kinds of toys. There were some more of these little molds. She was into these resin molds. 
did all kinds of little resin molds. So there's some cool ones in here. Uh, some more of the dragons. That was kind of her specialty. She would do dragons and uh, turtles. This turtle. We donated some of those to the thrift. I gave those to my mom. This was kind of fun. A little nightmare before Christmas uh, cup. I guess. Um, and uh, there was a uh, God is Love devotional journal down here. Another wallet, a little pocket knife here. We'll add that. I got some pocket knives. And then all these little toys. There are a few little toys. Let's see. Here's a little pocket watch. I didn't notice this. To my husband, I love then and I love you still. So we'll have to open that, see what it is, see if it still works. And uh, oh, look, some sort of coin here. So all kinds of fun little things in here. This was kind of an interesting item. Uh, what is it called? It's called eye candy. You see that eye candy? And it kind of, as you move it, um, and then you slide this, and underneath it is another image. So it's kind of magnetic. It sticks there. Eye candy. Here's another one of these uh, resin molds. Pumpkin, that's kind of the Nightmare Before Christmas theme. Resin mold. More little toys. It's a little bit of everything in this. A phone case. This was kind of a interesting piece of art. They definitely liked Halloween and all holidays really. There was a lot of holiday stuff in this. And uh, there was some flowers, fake flowers over here. So uh, nothing too valuable, but kind of some cool stuff. We'll have to decide what we want to list and what we want to donate. There was this plate with the deer on it. I doubt it's worth anything, but it is kind of pretty, I guess. Something for you guys to look at. But I don't really see a whole lot of value in any of this stuff. Um, not sure. This probably will add to the books. We can do some journals. The plush, we could do a plush lot. There's a few cool ones. Um, this is probably the nicest piece, not really a plush, but a very unique um, art piece. Maybe got it on vacation or something. And, oh yeah, you saw this little guy. I don't know if this is uh, anything special. It's not that resin, so this might be jade or some sort of stone. I have to ask my mom. She's more of an expert on that stuff. But it looks pretty cool. Alright, we got that bag cleaned up. All that stuff's going to be donated. I, uh, I'm going to hold on to this stuff maybe and decide what I want to do with it. I did find a Crown Royal bag. You can lock those up and do alright with them. That watch I might just give to my mom to donate. Same with this uh, plate. Her thrift store might want it. These plush I might run in the lot. Put them all together. Let some little kid take advantage of that. And uh, have their parents buy that for them. We have some toys here also we could save for a toy lot. Um, I did find a couple cards that we'll have to check. These might be um, gift cards, coffee, and uh, grocery store. So that will be nice. You got to call the number on the back and see if there's any money on it left. Looks like this was a $10 card and a $5 card. Let's see, what is this, the other one? The other one doesn't say. So $10 or $5 might be something left on it. Then we had the this one that I showed you and then this was all brand new stickers um, stationary and stickers so we'll hold that since it is brand new if we get enough of it we could lot it together and make some money back so that's what we got out of that bag one bag down let's do the other bag right, this other bag is a bit messier it appears to be a bathroom bag so all kinds of bathroom stuff most of this stuff will probably be thrown away or donated but I'm gonna sift through it and see if there's anything that I missed um, there appears to be a pair of earbuds here I don't know if they're any good I'm not an expert on earbuds but uh, as you can see, I can't even get it open. But I'm going to open those and uh, give you guys a look at uh, what we find in this. So stay tuned. All right, as you can see, we got it cleaned up. Let me show you what we found. This was kind of a bag full of bandanas. We got some panty liners. We got a big uh, floral brooch. I guess we could list that. Halloween uh, Dahlia clip. Dahlia clip. So that's for Halloween, I guess. We did get into those earbuds. They were in there. There's a look at them. 
I can get it to stay open. So I'm not sure the value of those, but uh, we'll find out. There's a little plug, a little plug. This was kind of cool, a little beaded bandanas. Some more bandanas here. There was uh, about uh, four hair curlers, hair flatteners, straighteners, whatever you want to call them, curling iron. None of them look to be very high-end, so uh, we might just donate those. This was all the garbage, and then over here was all the bathroom stuff. We'll go through it in a little bit more detail, toss what we don't want. Uh, there was some clear sill face wash and lotion and body scrub, hand sanitizer. There were two uh, perfume bottles. Um, cool, cool karma. Cool Karma sprayed that, not too bad. And then we have a little bit left of the Obsession by Calvin Klein. So that's always a good one. Um, and there was this one too. This appears to be Elizabeth Arden Green Tea. So a little green tea spray. So a few uh, perfumes and hand sanitizer. This is uh, this will come in handy with a dirty unit like this. I'll be using that and uh, decide what I want to do with the rest of it. So that's what came out of the bathroom bag. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, set that stuff aside, get that cleaned up a little bit. It was kind of a dirty job there. Those two bags were uh, filled with all kinds of stuff. So we got through those. I'm going to drive the, the packages to the post office, drop that off, get a nice run in. Then we'll come back and we'll tackle the rest of those bags tonight to try to get into the rest of it and see what else we got. Um, that was just a start though, you know, I didn't expect much from those two bags. They delivered a few little items that we could sell if we wanted to, but uh, nothing uh, of great value, no big money stuff yet. So uh, we're going to keep searching though, you never know what you're going to find. Alright, I got my running gear on, I got a little, little donation to drop off at the Goodwill, as well as the orders and that FedEx, those Michael Jordan, Air Jordans. We're going to drop that off at the FedEx drop-off, and uh, then we'll be ready to go running. So that's the plan. It's about 5.30 now, so we're going to get into town and make that happen. All right, we got everything dropped off. Uh, packages to the USPS, donations to Goodwill, and FedEx to uh, Office Depot. They take FedEx packages. So we got all everything taken care of today. Now we're going to head to Lake Pad and get some mileage in while the sun is still up. So let's plan on doing that right now. All right, as you saw, we made it here to Lake Padden, so I'm going to get out the car. I'll get that 2.6 miles in. I'll check back with a few moments of gratitude when we get back. And, of course, once we get home, we'll get into the rest of those uh, bags and boxes. There's a few more left. I did uh, uh, donate most of that stuff to the Goodwill, but uh, who knows what we'll find in those last few bags, so stay tuned. All right, I made it another 2.6 around Lake Padden. It was a nice run today. I'd probably give it an 8 out of 10. Um, just because that sun was out. It's a whole lot nicer to have that sun shining on your face than that wind and that rain. Uh, we've become accustomed to that wind and rain out here, but uh, spring, we get a little bit of spring early. I know that starts on the 20th officially, my mom's birthday, so we're going to go uh, celebrate that this weekend. Another year older, another year around the sun, right, as they say. Um, Grateful, yeah, grateful for the time I got to spend with my mom this Sunday. Last Sunday we spent some time uh, working in the yard and then uh, sorting out uh, storage unit finds, uh, giving her that jewelry to go through and uh, decide what is worth listing and what is worth donating. So she's busy with that project. So although I would love to get down there more often and visit with her more often, I am just thankful for the time I am able to get that way and uh, spend some time with her. It's always a good time. Uh, we play some music, we uh, enjoy that sunshine, maybe go on a walk, and uh, obviously sort through some treasures. Uh, the storage unit finds have begun. Spring is here, so I, I decided to start a little bit early and get some storage units. And uh, she's always been a big part of that, uh, sometimes reluctantly, but I do appreciate her help. That's one great thing about my parents, you know, growing up they were always supportive in whatever I want to do, you know, they don't always uh, want me to go into storage unit uh, buying because it is a dirty job and, you know, it's tough on your body and they hear about all the, the negativity, you know, sorting through someone else's garbage a lot of the time, so it's not very glamorous and uh, sometimes they think maybe I should be doing other things, but, you know, it's, it's fun for me and I continue to do it and, uh, they, they've continued to be supportive. Uh, my dad always met me at the door ready to go 
search through another storage unit. Now that he's gone, Mom has kind of uh, championed that effort and uh, helped me out a little bit. Yeah, sometimes in this storage unit clean-out game, you have to have somebody there just to tell you, donate that, you know. I want to uh, make money off of every little thing, and I know, I realize I can't do that, or I shouldn't do that if I want to maximize my profits. I want to focus on the best of the best, you know, using your time to the best of your ability, uh, not spending it sorting and uh, listing inexpensive items. I'm kind of learning that now that I'm uh, tackling these Air Jordans that I got in a unit, um... Uh, several years ago uh, had two of those sell today for over three hundred dollars so I mean that's a quick payday um, when you consider you know I got them for a minimal amount of money back in the day so it's all pure profit at this point I just have to do the work and get them listed and uh, ship them out in a timely manner make sure they get to the customer and uh, that profit is in your pocket so uh, those big mini items are what we're searching for so uh, as we move forward with the the storage unit cleanouts, that's what we're going to focus on. Sometimes the way I got to think about it is, you know, the more of them you do, the more chance you have of finding that uh, one in a, a million uh, find, you know, maybe one in a thousand, you know. You search through enough jewelry, bo jewelry boxes, eventually you're going to come upon some gold and some diamonds, you know. A lot of these lower priced uh, units only have uh, costume jewelry, but uh, we're going to get one eventually. Eventually some gold and silver are going to flow through. Second thing, maybe be grateful for my health. We're out here in this sunshine, still running around the lake. A um, few minor aches and pains, but uh, nothing really to complain about. Uh, so I'm 47, still at it, uh, still able to hit the miles and uh, get some miles in. I want to do it more often this spring, so i got to make an effort to get out here on the trail, uh, hopefully daily. So I know everybody is struggling with their own uh, fitness goals and trying to achieve certain things in life. You know, sometimes you you take a step back and you have to work your way back into a good health. And uh, it's a bit more of a journey than others. Uh, for me, you know, I've been able to run through the winter. That was my big goal. Uh, sometimes I just take the winter off. And this year I didn't do that. So hopefully I will benefit from doing that uh, on the later on down the road, not only... Uh, this year but uh, in future years you know to keep that consistent routine is what they say you need to do so your body doesn't break down and uh, probably doing these storage units doesn't help but uh, I'm able to manage so far uh, the back is holding up so I gotta be careful with uh, how much I do Another thing, thing, thing three, let's be grateful for the Snohomish Running Company. Uh, they had me out there to photograph the event, the the Shamrock Run out there in Kirkland at Juanita Beach. And uh, that's always a good time. Grant Harrington and the rest of the crew out there, uh, they put on some great events. And uh, I've been part of it for several years, uh, taking photos for them. And it's always a good time. They got another one coming up uh, next weekend, so hopefully we'll get a nice sunny day again. You couldn't ask for a better day last uh, Sunday in Kirkland. Everybody dressed up in their green. It was a good time. Everything went smooth. We had two photographers out there. We got all the photos up within 24 hours, so uh, it was a happy day and uh, great weather and a great event. So having said all that, that's a lot of gratitude for one day. I think I'm going to head down to the lake, give you guys a look at it, go on a little warm down, and uh, see what I can see out there today. Look at this. There's signs of spring already. So we got a few ducks here. I've shown you guys these ducks. They like to hang out here by this sign for some reason. We chased them down earlier. So here's a look at the lake. You saw that duck fly away. He got away from me quick. The, the, those are the two ducks that I've gotten shots of before. I'm assuming they're the same ducks. Probably not, but uh, they like to hang out there. So beautiful day out here at Lake Padden. Nice still water, no rain, no wind. So there's a bit more wildlife out here than usual. These ducks are uh, enjoying the sunshine as well. There's a couple there swimming towards the others out that way that uh, just flew in. This guy right here, he's deciding what he wants to do. Is he going to jump off? Let's see. Let's see. There he goes. That was a nice little shot, wasn't it? So plenty of ducks out here. I don't see any geese this with time. They must be on the other side over there, but uh, a bunch of ducks. Let me give you guys a look at this lake uh, now that I'm nice and close to the shoreline. So over there is the dog park. Give you guys a full view. Now we're looking at the other side as we pan over toward the tennis court side. That sun is setting right there. Just went down behind the trees over there. 
In previous videos you saw all the puddles here, those are all dried up. It's amazing how quick things can dry out. There's a batch of them joining each other over there in the middle of the lake. So there's plenty of wildlife out here. We're gonna walk over to the other side of things, go over to the water flow, see how it's flowing today. So hopefully you guys enjoy this little look at nature here at Lake Pat. And I'm kind of looking, keeping my eye out for the herons, you know, hoping that they return. We can get some shots of the herons. I'm not seeing any yet, but I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled. Sometimes they can camouflage themselves over here in the brush and they just sit there until someone wanders up on them. So it hasn't dried up completely. There is some puddles out here on the trail, as you can see. Here's a look at the lake from the far end, just past the tennis courts, a nice little look. Got some kayakers out there, some ducks just flew away. I was hoping to get them in the shot, but uh, no such luck. But uh, I'll give you guys a look at those kayakers out there. They're having a conversation about something. It's getting pretty heated out there about something or other. Pretty nice uh, reflection on the water there. Here's that little area with all the sticks. They all gather here on the shoreline. Standing in a bundle of them right now. Look at this. They all manage to find their way to the shore. I guess eventually they'll work their way back out there. Who knows? Here's a look at the lake from the far end. So you can hear there's a lot of runners and cyclists out here today enjoying the sunshine. Pretty nice day for a run or a bike, bike ride. You can see that sun on the far end there on those trees looks pretty nice. That would be a good photo to take, wouldn't it? Those nice greens and browns over there. It's not as exciting over on this end, light-wise anyways. But we do have the water flow. Let's go check that out. So we'll give you one last look at the dock here. The lake from the dock side. Pretty nice little shot right there. You can hear that water behind me. It is still flowing pretty heavy. Even though it has dried out a little. Uh, we still got some good uh, drainage. So we'll check that out in a second. So we're out here at Lake Patton. I just realized I forgot to eat lunch. So I'm on about an 8 hour fast. I had breakfast. Well I did have an apple between there. So I guess it's not a an official fast but I, I want to get home and have some food getting hungry out here but let's take a look at that water uh, see what kind of flow we got today maybe we'll see some more ducks or maybe that uh, the heron is in there who knows it's happened before so uh, let's take a look I was just talking about the heron and the ducks and a couple just flew like right over my shoulder right over this through this trail right back to the lake so maybe they saw me coming who knows yeah, last time we were out here we saw a couple ducks I think a trio out here uh, braving these rapids trying to get up them or just enjoying the flow I guess it's probably peaceful for them as well I'd imagine look at that uh, foam forming there so this is kind of the log jam they clear this up every now and then, uh, but then uh, obviously more trees fall in here. Water still finds a way though, look at that. Finding a way down the stream. Amazing. So I guess we can continue the gratitude, be grateful for this uh, peaceful little flow of water. It's always a soothing part of the day. Helps you wind down a long day sometimes. Although today's been pretty easy for me actually. So there's the rock the duck was on last time. No such luck today, he's not out here. But uh, still a nice scene out here. Things slow down a little as you walk down this creek, so uh, not so noisy. So it does look like there are some fresh trees down. I saw on the news that a couple uh, people passed away from falling trees, so well, you gotta be careful out here in the wilderness. Uh, I guess there's no way to predict when a tree's gonna fall, but uh, keep your eyes peeled. You never know. There's a couple there that went down as well. And I've been kind of watching this one in the lake. I mean, in the in the creek here. It's been slowly uh, 
disintegrating. This one here has been sitting in the lake for some time now. As you can see, it's kind of darker and falling apart. That water is uh, working its magic on it. It's slowly, slowly becoming part of the creek. I kind of like these parts where the log jam uh, begins and the uh, water finds a way to get through here like this. Look at that. Just a little area is creating its own path. Its own path and finds its way. More trees down. Look at this. There's like a trio here that just all came down. They're just resting here in the creek. Dipping their little log in the creek there. They found a nice resting spot. Here's the other one. Growing some nice moss. That nice green moss in the sunshine. Sometimes you wonder when the creek bed's gonna erode the big ones and this one is gonna come down. Look at this guy. He's been around for ages, but he's right there on the edge of the creek bed. Holding on for dear life. Probably healthy, gets a lot of water and nutrients. But uh, that creek is eating away at the side there. Look at that. It's going to come down eventually. Strong wind, one of these uh, falls, and he'll be in the creek as well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little look at Lake Patton, uh, the nature at Patton, and this little creek adventure. Uh, I'm going to jog back to the car, get my little warm down in, and then head home. Uh, for you guys that are new, this is part of uh, my uh, day in the life of a reseller vlog. I like to put these gratitude moments, followed by a little nature here at Lake Patton, in, uh, or wherever I'm running, and um, put those into the vlog. So if you like that sort of thing, uh, think about subscribing and uh, ringing that notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time one of my daily vlogs drops. All right, we made it safe and sound back to the car. I'm gonna head home. Just a reminder, uh, this may be the end of the gratitude portion of the video, but I am gonna continue with the vlog. Continue the unboxing and unbagging. There's probably bags and uh, suitcases full of stuff from that 5x5 cleaner. I think there are about four or five left to go. So we're going to try to get into some of those when we get home. So uh, that'll, the adventure continues. Let's see what we get. And for those of you who only watch the gratitude portion of my vlogs, I know there are some of you out there. Don't forget to subscribe. I do need 1,000 subscri subscribers to uh, monetize the channel. I'm still chasing that 1,000 subs and uh, 4,000 hours, so uh, any new subscribers can help me out, so I'd appreciate it. Alright, I made it home. I got my little gratitude video edited up, had some dinner, and now we're going to go into the garage and get into some of those bags. Not sure I'm going to do them all tonight. It is about 8.30, so we might run out of time, but we'll get some uh, some of them open and see what we got. Just a reminder, Easter is almost here. We do have this nice Easter set I got to deal with. I uh, might try to get that listed as soon as possible. Hope for a quick sale. We'll see. All right, we got this nice Milwaukee tool bag. I think it's a tool bag, a Milwaukee tools. And uh, I was hoping it was full of tools, but I don't think it is. I think it's more clothes, but let's take a look because it is kind of soft and light. Let's take a look and see what we got in here. The zipper it will work. Yep, looks like more clothes. I see a nice jersey here. What do we got? Ingram, Ingram, so a nice Lakers jersey, that's nice, that's some decent money, so we'll get into these, let me uh, dump them out and we'll take a look through them, see what else we can find, there's some nice uh, athletic shorts, now's the season for those, been selling a lot of shorts lately as you can see, um, if you watch the solds on my channel, there's a nice dress in here, this appears to be some nicer stuff uh, than we found, so uh, we'll get into this and I'll show you if there's anything cool. Alright, we got to the bottom of the bag. Just as I suspected, uh, there's not a lot of value in this one. Mostly uh, dresses and tank tops and t-shirts. Um, there was one brand new Billabong dress and kind of a couple cool graphic t-shirts. Let me show you guys that stuff. Here is one of the cool graphic t-shirts that has uh, swimming turtles on here, if you can see that. Uh, kind of little colorful turtles, about four or five of them on here. Um, I'm not sure the brand of it. Sun Tees? Looks like it says Sun Tees on there. So kind of a cool turtle graphic. Um, 
t-shirt you can't really see anything up there this was the other uh, brand new billabong dress kind of a little sundress let's see what size this is a billabong extra small so just a tiny little sundress and then here's another they like these funny t-shirts these like tank tops you're one in a melon you're one in a melon obviously a play on your one in a million but uh, there it is a stack of clothing so I know earlier I talked about uh, searching for more high money items but you know as a clothing seller over the last few years when I see a bag like that I know that's a, it's probably a couple hundred dollars even if you list um, you know at five to ten dollars a pop you know they're not high demand items but if you price them right and you take good photos and you get the right keywords they will sell over time so there's money in that bag uh, it's just a matter of doing the work the bag itself a nice Milwaukee tool bag like this is probably uh, has some value I'd have to look it up maybe ten to fifteen dollars I would guess um, but the zipper works good and appears to be in good shape so maybe uh, somebody wants that for their tools right, this is the corner we're working through looks like we have one two three four more bags let's just go with this blue bag since it's close so this unit also had a north face tent um, stratus so we'll have to take all that out see if it's all in there it feels like it's full and then this I think is maybe another sleeping bag it looks like it's pretty new what is that y yord Yorda, Yorda win, Yordwin, Yordwin, Yordon, Yordon, some sort of brand, camping brand. All right, we got the red bag there and we got the blue bag here. What do you choose, the red pill or the blue pill? Let's get into this one. Um, obviously, we know what was in the red bag, so uh, maybe you guys will be more excited by this one. Let's take a look. I'm not guessing this might be books. No, nope, more clothing it looks like. Let's see what we got. Looks like some sort of suit. So this might be their heavy jackets. Looks like um, pants maybe. Nice wool pants though. So uh, depending if they have wear or not. So they're cargo wool cargo pants. Heavy cargo pants. Um, see, they might be uh, flame resistant. We'll have to check and see if these are anything special. Yeah, I think the brand is K Begman. Begman. Bregman? Bregman, maybe? They are kind of worn and kind of dirty, smelly. Uh, so they might not be anything too special. Let's get into this and see if anything else is interesting in here. Um, looks like there's a jacket here. It looks kind of dickies. Okay, we got a nice dickies. Is this a jacket? The nice Dickies. Dickies is a good brand. Sells pretty regularly. It's a nice work jacket. Does have some stains on the front, but uh, what size is it? It's a Dickies extra large. So we could uh, have to wash that, um, get it cleaned up. It does have some wear here on the bottom, but uh, Dickies is always a good brand. Brand new. That's probably a you know fifty to a hundred dollar piece, but. Uh, used and in this condition it's probably 20 bucks um, if we can get it looking decent enough for someone to take a chance on it so it looks like this was their jacket bag this one is called special blend it looks to be kind of like a snowboarding jacket maybe kind of hooded with a multicolor the navy the blue and the red it's not a bad little piece um, appears to be a little cleaner than the other pieces uh, the other were pretty well worn but uh, special blend um, let's see what size it is if we can get a look fit freedom fit hmm oh there's a size size small men's so a uh, pretty cool jacket that might be a $20 piece alright the final item in the blue bag was this a nice Wrangler fleece lined uh, work shirt dress shirt two pocket has the lining in the sleeves you see these at uh, Walmart quite often they are uh, they're, they're well constructed and nice um, nice shirts but uh, not a lot of value I think uh, maybe 10 to 15 bucks I would guess you could get for this shirt online it, again it's not it's been worn you can tell uh, it has seen its better day but uh, size large maybe ten dollar shirt I would guess and again if you want to sell bags you'd always get plenty of bags in a storage unit this one is Davida a nice blue bag. I guess we have a check these little pockets here. We could um, open these up. Maybe there'll be something in them. I don't suspect there is, but nothing in that one. Yeah, a nice little gym bag it would be. 
All right, we're making some good progress, so we might as well keep going. There is another bag here. Uh, let me show it to you. Here's a nicer uh, animal print bag. I think it's a Liz Claiborne bag. Um, did catch my eye. I always kind of wondered what was in here. I didn't open it yet, so let's get into it and see what we have. I actually haven't peeked in this one, so this is new to me as well. Double zipper on this one. Look at this. This one is... A double zipper. I'm guessing it's clothing too, but uh, we'll see. Let's take a look. Oh, look at this. A big plush. So maybe this is the kid's bag. I know some of these plush are collectible. Ooh, this one is a little dirty. On the back side anyways. Um, squish. Squishmallows. Squishmallows. So you see. All right, we had a battery die, but before that, I was talking about these squishmallows. Do you often see them in uh, reseller videos? A lot of people who sell plush mention these, and sometimes they pick them up when they go to the bins and they find them. Some people like to sell these because they do have a pretty good sell-through rate, I guess, from what I've heard. I have never sold one, and uh, I don't really plan on getting into plush too much unless I find something really special. Um, but uh, we, I guess we could look it up and see what they sell for, see if it's worth my time. You know, if it's a 10 to $20 um, plush, then maybe it's worth listing. But otherwise, it probably will be a donate, especially in that condition. I don't have to wash it and uh, deal with all that. I guess he is pretty cute with these big ears and stuff and the antennas here. Um, but uh, we'll see. Maybe he'll be fun to look at. He is really soft. That's one thing. Um, they are soft. But uh, unfortunately, this one got a little dirty in the back. So hopefully there's nothing else too dirty in here. But uh, let's see what else we got. Look at these. Looks like we got some boots. These look like some decent boots, too. Look at these. Wow. Those look like they might be worth some money. Look at this. Let's see what size are they. They zip all the way up, and they're pretty clean. So there's been a lot of dirty stuff, but these are looking pretty clean. So this might have been a new addition to the wardrobe or a special occasion. They do have one little spot right here that we might try to treat. See if we can get out. Who knows? It might just be a little stain from the bag. But uh, I'm not sure what the brand is or what they are, but uh, they do look like they could be worth some decent money. So boots, uh, you know ladies in their boots, they like to spend some money on boots. Um, and that looks like a pretty decent pair. So I'm guessing that's a $100 bill right there. I would say just right off, at least 50 But uh, we'll have to look into them. I'll get them unzipped and find out what to brand they are. And we'll see if we can get this stain out. All right, I unzipped them and I looked in here. The brand is Torrid, which I've heard of before. I think I've sold some of those before. They're not really a high-end brand branded boot but uh, these are in pretty good condition and style wise I think they um, fit for uh, what would sell pretty well online in my opinion I don't know I'm not a boot expert but uh, I have sold some ladies boots as they come through um, storage units oftentimes you buy a woman's unit they're gonna have a few pair of boots so uh, these are looking pretty clean and like I said if we can deal with that little stain and uh, clean them up a little I think they're either 50 to $100 pair of boots. I would, I would guess more like 50 um, But uh, let's see what else we got in this bag. This one uh, is turning out some good stuff. All right, I guess we just reach in here and grab what's next, right? Uh, looks like some sort of confetti, some party supplies, some string, some beads. Might be some sort of Christmas. Uh, there's a little tiny um, clothespins in there. So maybe some uh, crafting stuff. Uh, they are pretty artsy and did do a lot of that kind of thing, so uh, maybe that's what this is. Let's see what we got in this one. Um, this might be more art supplies. It looks like they were into uh, resin molds and that sort of thing. This looks like some sort of art supplies. Maybe part of that resin project that they do. Uh, they got into making all kinds of stuff. Um... There may be some personal stuff. Oh, we got a nice thing of beads. So a nice jar full of beads and buttons and all kinds of stuff. So we'll have to look through that, maybe uh, see if there's anything else in there. It uh, doesn't look like it's probably a, a kid's uh, jewelry making uh, project, I would guess. All right, we pulled out the New Testament. 
So we got a copy of the New Testament in here. Actually, a pretty nice looking cover on that one. Nice, uh, flashy little cover of the New Testament. So we got the good word in my hand here. And some beads and some crafting supplies. Let's see what else we can find in this thing. This is a pretty box. It says Waverly. Waverly. Should we open it up and see what we got? What do we have? Oh, so some nice cards. Some nice paper and uh, yeah, you can make your own notes with uh, some cards. Send off some notes. This has the envelopes in here as well. I don't know if you guys saw that. Those are the envelopes. It looks like they used a few of them, but they have some nice uh, floral, floral uh, paper that you can uh, write somebody a note. So Waverly paper set. That's uh, probably worth five, ten bucks. Put it up here with the books. It says here Sweet Violets. That's what uh, the picture on the um, front was. Sweet Violets. So those of you who know your uh, Flowers probably already knew that, but us that don't, that's what it was. All right, that's the end of this bag. Um, this is a pretty nice bag, but there is a little damage right here. I was trying to see the, uh, if the wheels are on here. It's got wheels and everything. A pretty nice bag other than that little damage right there that I see. The handles are pretty decent condition. Looks like they used it as a travel bag. Maybe they went somewhere. Um, they have a sticker on here or something, so... A nice sturdy a Liz Claiborne bag. Whoops. And but uh, I'm not sure what I will do with that. It might be a donation, but uh, I'll think so about it. So we got it. two more totes to go. Two more kind of sturdy totes. Um, let me bring them over and give you guys a look at them. So the mess you can see is piling up here. I think I'm gonna grab those um, clothes and put them in the washroom. Get them ready for another load of wash, and then uh, make some room for those other two bags, and then we'll be right back. All right, after several days of sorting, we finally made it to the last two items of this uh, 5 by 5 unit I got out in Linden for $260. If you guys have watched some of these videos, I want to thank you guys for joining uh, and watching those to the end. I'm watching this one to the end as we wind down the day. It's about 9 o'clock now, but we're going to get into these last two. And uh, who knows, maybe we, maybe we can pick up another one tomorrow. Uh, we'll see. There, I know that there's some good ones ending. Depending on how much they go for, we might buy another unit. But uh, let's see what's in these two boxes. They did have significant weight, and they're kind of a uh, nicer um, hardcover. We, let me show you. All right, here they are. As you can see, this is kind of like a little small suitcase. Um, not uh, that big, but uh, it's heavy. Um, it's got some weight to it, probably 20 pounds. But uh, let's see if we can get into this without... Uh, um, too much trouble. Um, it does have a lock, so we might have to pry that open like we did the other one. Uh, let me get a screwdriver and see what we can do. All right, we were able to do it without a screwdriver. I just had to press really hard and uh, use two hands, but uh, let's see what we got. I haven't looked in it yet, so this is new to me as well. What do we got? What do we got? Looks like more crafting. More crafting. So this might have been their crafting supply box. All kinds of crafting goodies with these little leaves. Just bags of stickers. So maybe they were into scrapbooking. We have seen some of these stickers and stuff like that in and out of um, the bags. So uh, this might have been their massive haul of them. Gem stickers. All kinds of stickers. That, you know, that you could lot these up and they do have um, some value. Let's see what we got here. Journey, joy for the journey, hours of mindful, calm, creative expression, biblical inspiration. So a nice coloring book. It doesn't look like, oh, they did color some. There we go. Be still for a moment, the world will wait. Be still for a moment, the world will wait. That's good advice right there. Uh, I can live by that. And a little friendly owl. Remember, owls are birds of prey, so... Um, be leery of them. A friend loves at all times. So these are little um, Proverbs 17:17. 17, 17, that one is. And she is clothed with strength and dignity. She can laugh at the days to come. Proverbs 31:25. So there's some good ones in here. We might have to flip through this and get a little inspiration. The Lord is my strength and my song. Exodus 15:2. So a nice little um, re religious-based 
a coloring book. So I like that. That's cool. We'll set that aside. And we got more stickers and more stickers. What do we got over here? All kinds of stuff. I love and uh, cute my pet. So a whole suitcase, whole little suitcase full of this stuff. I'll spare you all the details, but uh, we got little, um, what you call them, pineapples and palm trees. Uh, let's see. So we got some birthday stuff in there. So this is a nice little box of goodies. I'm not sure how I'm going to break this up and list it, but uh, we'll get some money out of this for sure. So I talked in previous videos about uh, sometimes, you know, being a reseller is about being the ultimate middleman, finding a space uh, where you can uh, find a new home for this stuff and uh, bringing it to someone who can use it. That's kind of what I'll have to do with uh, some of this scrapping stuff. You know, I don't really do that stuff, but I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that get joy from it and uh, we'll pr try to put it into their hands and uh, so they can make use of it. Um, there was one box in here that... Um, was kind of uh, rubber banded shut and I haven't gotten into it let's take a look so this was the box I took the rubber bands off and let's take a look and see what is inside whoa look at that all kinds of little beaded dice beaded with letters on there so um, they had that um, jar full of beads and this is probably an extension of that you could you can make jewelry with this and uh, who knows you know that was a kind of a a rock right here. This is kind of a polished rock with a um, a little clasp on the top that you can. I'm not even showing it to you guys. There it is. Um, polished rock with a clasp. Let me see if I can get it to focus. Come on, focus, focus. Show the people what we got here. You guys see it? Oh, there it is. Polished rock with that clasp. Do you see that? You, it's kind of like a little pendant, little stone that you could put on a necklace. So there was one one of those in there so that was kind of a fun little surprise a little box in the bottom of a suitcase uh didn't expect to see those i was all scrapbooking and then we had a little bit of jewelry in there as well a little beaded jewelry um, but we're going to get into this last tote then we're going to call it an end to this video one more to go and then we officially uh, finished looking through everything in this five by five unit it's taken a lot longer than I suspected. Um, I usually get through these much quicker, but uh, we're spreading it out. We're making some content, so everything is fine. But uh, usually, I like to try to flip these in a day or two. But uh, when you spread it out over, you know, three or four days, that's all right. Uh, we can make some more videos, and uh, you guys can come along for the journey. Uh, speaking of that, let's get into this last tote so we can call an end to this right, one. Here it is, a little yellow tote here. Oh, this one does pop open, as you hear. At least that side. I did you got to be careful not to get your knuckle I used to have one of these then always got my knuckle all right it says ACP on here what else does it say I can't read that it's a little too small hemisphere something hemisphere all right ACP any guesses put your guesses in now one two three Ooh. we got some wings we got some wings some angel wings here look at that little set of angel wings and we got some CDs. We haven't seen any media come through here. Um, Ocean's 12. We got uh, Street Beat. Street Beat. They paid $9.99 for that one. I don't know Street Beat. I'll have to look at that. We got Sleepless in Seattle. That's a classic. Uh, Sin City the Movie recorded. Um, West Side Story. We got the movie Taken. And... Free Willy, Free Willy, you guys remember Free Willy? Um, the Notebook, oh, there's a classic, The Notebook. Sweet Home Alabama. So we got a bit of a romantic on our, on our hands here. Someone likes some romantic movies. Um, Sweeney Todd, Sweeney Todd and uh, Angela Lansbury, it says. So they recorded some stuff here. What do we got here? Lindsay Lohan. Mean Girls. Oh, yeah. Mean Girls, you guys. And The Guardian, st starring Kevin Costner. It looks like we got some more art supplies in here. Oh, look at that. Look what's all over my hands. They just turned green. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. 
So uh, something is leaking here. <laughs> oh boy, we got a mess. You guys see that? Green everywhere. So uh, I think I'm gonna wash my hands just in case it's uh, something that shouldn't be on your skin. Um, and then we'll get into this. It looks like this is what it is. This stuff popped open. So uh, we might have to uh, toss that aside and uh, get into this a little bit. Uh, this is, might be a jewelry box. Yeah? There might be some jewelry in here yet. We did see a well, I'm not going to get everything all green. Let me go wash my hands, and then uh, we'll get into this a little deeper. All right, I got a sponge and some water and a towel. We're going to clean as we go. Got my hands clean again, uh, but I'm trying to find out how we should attack this. Um, I think just clean as we go, right? Take one piece at a time. Maybe I need a garbage bag. That's what I need. I'll go grab a garbage bag. All right, we got a garbage bag, and we're going to get back into this. I think we're just going to... Um, throw away this stuff that's all covered in green and not worry about it. Um, that could be clean, I guess. But this stuff that's all green, we're going to get rid of it. I'm, I'm guessing it doesn't have significant value. So we're just going to throw it all away and get this cleaned up and uh, see what's in the bottom of this. That's what I'm interested to find out, what is in this, and there's some other things at the bottom there that could have value once uh, we get through all this. A lot of it is glitter, so there's a lot of glitter. We don't want a glitter explosion here, so um, I'm going to go use two hands and we're going to get into this. I'm going to get it cleaned up and then I'll show you guys what we find. Alright, kind of a messy job. Tough to do that and record at the same time, so we... Uh, we went through it and I got it all set out here for you guys to look at. Um, looks like there was a couple empty cases here. This was an old camera case. It's all bedazzled and everything. And this is an old wallet of some sort. Nothing in it. We did have a couple phones over here. There was this little Santa pin. Um, a little pin. And a little pocket knife. So nothing really too valuable. But there was a couple, pin, a couple phones. A couple cheap phones. Nothing special, um, and then there was the Motorola case over here, a box rather. So, uh, Cloud Mobile, and a couple cheap phones, probably not much value to those. There was a couple cases here, this is an empty case, and this is an empty case. Cassini, and then we have all the glitter, a couple molds here, a couple phone chargers. Phone chargers you might be able to hold on to and bulk up. Um, and then we have glitter and uh, these little totes of, uh, I guess I don't know what is in those. I have to look. Maybe, uh, some sort of art supplies. I'm guessing a minimal, minimal value. More glitter and glitter. And, uh, yeah, that was about it. Some mail. We threw the junk mail over there. And this was, uh, something that was in the plastic, it kind of in the bubble wrap. It had me excited for a moment. It had me excited. And let me show you guys what it is. Um, probably something I won't bring into the house because the wife is a little superstitious. But uh, it's a little Ouija board. Can you see that? And it has uh, the faces on there. I think it's like Chucky. That's Chucky, I'd imagine. What is that? The, the Halloween guy. Michael Myers, is it? And then uh, the clown from the other horror movie, I forget his name. Pin, no, this, uh, I can't remember. I'm not really a horror fan, but you guys know who they are. So, uh, kind of a nice piece. Um, well constructed, just a little plastic piece. A little Ouija board. I guess you put your finger on there and... Is, uh, am I going to make, am I going to find some gold in my next storage unit? Am I going to find some gold in my... Yes. Yes. So there it is. Pretty uneventful. Um, just two totes full of uh, crafting supplies. And uh, not a lot of value to any of this stuff. A little disappointed in these two boxes. These last two boxes. I was hoping for something a little better. Especially out of this cool box. Look, the box is so cool, I think. Um, I might hold on to that and put something cool in it. Who knows? But uh, probably recycle that suitcase. It's uh, seen its better day. 
um, take all that crafting material out. So there you have it, the completion of the 5x5 five five, uh, $260 linded storage unit that I purchased on Storage Treasures. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed some of these videos as we uh, look through these. Uh, mostly clothes, a uh, big batch of jewelry, no gold or silver though. I uh, sent that to my mom. She's going to be working through that, and we'll give an update on that. So be sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on the updates. Um, who knows? She might uh, get a get a scope on it and find something in that uh, big batch of jewelry. But uh, the first pr preliminary look, we didn't find anything of uh, major value. Um, but we might uh, bulk some of it up, so give some people some deals on some costume jewelry and uh, make some money that way. Um, we'll see. We'll see what the future holds. Um, and uh, her her thrift store was able to benefit from a lot of donations. Um, we took a lot of that stuff to them in Arlington there. So uh, hopefully they will uh, make some money off of it. Um, we have the clothing. We have three nice totes, and now we have another batch to be washing. Um, that women's clothing predominantly um, will have to be washed um, tomorrow. Yeah, I'll get up and uh, do some more laundry. Hopefully we'll uh, get another tote full of keepable, sellable stuff out of that last batch, um, that last batch of bags. It had some good uh, women's clothing in there. Not top branded stuff, but uh, good quality stuff that will sell 5 to $10. So um, again, we'll be working singles, right? We talk about the baseball analogy. We'll be making singles off this unit, but... Uh, it turned out some good stuff. I think that uh, memorabilia was probably my favorite find of all this. Uh, the um, 8x10 uh, movie memorabilia. That was in yesterday's video. You may have seen that. We found some nice 8x10s by I think it was seven different movies. Um, had all the um, cliff notes and like scenarios and um, information on the cast and all kinds of stuff. But it also had some nice... 8x10 photos of uh, Brian Bosworth when he was young, uh, Jimmy Smits, and um, um, I'm trying to think of the guy's name who recently just passed away. Of course, the moment I turn the camera off, it comes to me. Ray Liotta, of course, Ray Liotta, such a star. Um, he uh, recently passed away, but we have some nice uh, 8x10s of him when he was younger. Um, I forget the movie that it was for, but uh, a nice action movie. Uh, so some of that stuff, we got to decide what we want to do, you know. Part of me wants to keep it because I think it's so cool, but uh, I probably will list it eventually. It might not go on right away. might uh, let it sit around and look at it for a while, you know. I tend to do that sometimes, so um, we'll see. Time will tell. But I'm going to get this mess cleaned up and uh, call it a night. So as always, I want to thank you guys for watching this one to the very end. Um, we've been busy uh, posting new vlogs, day in the life of reseller vlogs every day. So I appreciate you, those of you who stick with it and watch these to the end. I'm trying to get to 4,000 hours, so i got a long ways to go. I think we're at about 1,400 hours right now and uh, 323 subscribers the last time I checked. So hit that subscription button, ring that notification bell, come on back and watch some of these videos and help me get a little closer to uh, monetizing this channel. That's the goal. Once we get monetized, uh, then the adventures really begin. Uh, then we're going to double down on content. So uh, help me get there and we'll see what we can make happen. Thanks again. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.